Hi, I'm Chris Hake and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play a Scottish jig called Calliope House. First time I uh, played this, I, uh, I discussed it with my guitarist friend, and uh, I said this is called Calliope House, <laughs> and he laughed at me because he thought it should be pronounced Calliope. But I believe Calliope is correct. It's named after Calliope House, which is a Victorian mansion in Pittsburgh, and it's kind of an art centre where a lot of folk music goes on, and. Um, they do pronounce it Calliope, I do believe. If anyone from Pittsburgh can tell me otherwise, I'd be pleased to know. It was written by Dave Richardson of The Boys of the Lock. And uh, he wrote it in Edinburgh, and he wrote it on the mandolin. Which is part of the reason why it's in the key of E, which is quite unusual for a uh, fiddle tune for a jig. Uh, but I think it's very pleasant in the key of E. It gives it a very Scottish feel. It opens up parts of the fiddle sound that you don't often get otherwise and um, I think I know a lot of people whistle players for example much prefer the key of D but uh, if you can uh, impose on them to play in D then do. Um, so the best uh, version that I like is Alistair Fraser's version he does it quite mellow and with some beautiful chords behind it uh, but we're going to give you a fairly straightforward one. Um, let's just go through uh, I'll talk about the bowing the second time round, but we'll just play the melody. One, two, three, four. So we're doing a mixture of separate bows and slurs um, and you could almost certainly do it any number of different combinations of that but I prefer to start off with separate bows and I'm keeping my first finger on all the way through that and here's the first slur so I'm slurring that along with the double cut so it's Yeah, another double cut. Another slow up. Being Scottish uh, in origin, um, A and E drones will be very nice on this if you get some of those strings ringing and a little bit of vibrato, uh, which is something you wouldn't really do in Irish music, but it does fit in Scottish music. So let's do it once through with the uh, chords.
think if you're going to play this several times and you're the only uh, soloist, then this is a nice one to do a little bit of improvisation on. Just n nothing exciting, just uh, gentle uh, <laughs> meandering. And I'll do a little bit of that on the second time round. Um, you can also make it quite quiet and then bring it up again. Um, so uh, I, do, I do think this is one that you should do several times rather than just uh, twice and then straight into another tune. I think this one deserves a bit more attention than a lot of jigs. So I hope you did enjoy this. If you want to subscribe and send me an email, I'll send you a copy of my version of this tune. And um, I will see you again soon.